Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is How Fast. So I've been driving around the GMC uh, for the last week. I've compiled a list of things that we need to take a look at. I did some recording as well, so I'm going to fill you guys in with some of that in a minute. But I want to let you know that we did finally come up with a name for her. Um, Derek and I had a couple of good ideas from some people, but I mean, she's big. She's got hips. I mean, what 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 name? What name makes sense? I mean, Judy, Big Booty Judy. So guys, I want to introduce you to Judy, our newest member, our 96 GMC 3500 Extended Crew Cab Dually. So officially part of the family now with the name. She's got a couple things that we're going to work on. And uh, I, like I said, I recorded a little bit of that uh, earlier in the week. So we're going to cut to some of that right now. Okay, guys. Uh, got to use the truck for truck stuff. Got to get into the bed there. Uh, so what we got to do is we got to get the uh, fifth wheel hitch out of the out of the bed. So let's just bolt it in and uh, I'm going to hit it with a hammer and knock it out. up your back. Don't try this at home. Or if you do, get a friend. But I live in the middle of nowhere and I don't have a lot of friends. So. Okay, we're all loaded up. Let's hit the road. So guys, first real drive in the truck, super smooth. Um, you know, it's a dually, so there's a little bounce in the back, of course, but uh, once we get a trailer on it, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. You can see the mattress in the back there. Ah, oh, you don't like your mattress, you say. Well, we don't pick that up, they say. You're gonna have to bring it to us, they say. Foot box, queen size bed. It's like a glove. So, uh, as far as the truck goes, what do I like about it? I mean, being this high up in the air is awesome. Uh, having all that cargo space, all that extra room, amazing. Um, what, what don't I like about it? Um, very, very little. I'll be honest with you, very little. I do really like this truck. There is a couple things, right? First things first. It's a big truck. Got a gas engine. It's a little underpowered. What could we do to fix that? I wonder. I'm not necessarily saying that's the one, but it could end up being something like that. So uh, we're going to cruise around for a bit here. I'm going to drop this off, get a new one hopefully, and catch up with you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, getting a little bit later in the day. I've been driving the truck around. So here's a list of the things that I think we need to look at. Um, you can see the, the truck is uh, it comes with airbags in the back, as I mentioned, and a trailer brake. The bags, at least the one on the passenger side, appear to be uh, leaking, or it appears to be leaking, the one on the passenger side. So um, I'm going to look at the lines. Maybe I look down there real briefly at them. The lines look kind of like they're under tension, so maybe they've kind of rubbed through in some spot. So we'll take a look at that. Um, also, I'm getting a sound, like when I pull up next to walls, I'm guessing it's the fuel pump. So we're gonna take a look at the fuel pump and um, the air conditioning doesn't work. That's something I'd really like to work for uh, for next year, for next summer. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna keep all these uh, on a running list and we'll get to them one at a time. Got the truck back. I was driving around the other day. Um, you know, I started to list a couple things. I thought I should, I should do this when we're, we're parked so I can actually show you guys what we're talking about. So, first thing I'm gonna do, I notice when the car or when the truck starts, um, it, I don't wanna say it struggles, but I mean, I know it's a big engine, but I feel like this battery is probably, probably do for a change. So I picked up a new battery. When I'm driving down the 401 or I'm driving down the highway and I'm doing about a buck 10, 
anything over 2500 rpm i start to smell oil um and i think i look here and to me this looks like i got a leaky valve cover gasket it seems to be leaking now you can see the residual oil left on the header another thing is when I'm braking or under acceleration around 80 kilometers an hour to 90 kilometers an hour, I get a shake in the front end in the steering wheel. And it's under acceleration, so I'm thinking this thing might have a bad motor mount, perhaps, or maybe a transmission mount. So I'm going to take a look at that. That's not going to be today. Today we're just going to change the battery. But also, a couple, couple other things we wanted to take a look at. I had mentioned um, that the airbags in the back. Um, I feel like the airbag on this side get under here for you. I feel like the airbag on this side here, it won't hold air. And the bag looks like it's in pretty good shape. I don't see it's been rubbing on anything, but I gotta think that maybe one of the lines, which, which you can see up here, right here, you see there's quite a bit of, there's quite a bit of tension on this thing. Um, probably too much, uh, to a point where it might be chafing somewhere down the line here so um i'm gonna source that figure out where what's going on with that and lead that all the way back to the compressor and uh and then i'll just check all the lines all the way through to make sure it looks good so uh, you know something to keep in mind for later uh the other day you guys saw i took the uh fifth wheel hitch out of the back lots of big space in there now okay so the battery has been replaced truck starts much better now um, I have been looking at um, ordering a valve cover gasket for this and I found out that the sound that I was hearing, I, I thought I had um, maybe like a fuel pump or something that was going, but I realized now that it's, it's the compressor for the, uh, for the airbags in the back that's running. So it's, it's almost, it's running constant now, um, which sounds terrible. So uh, I'm going to jump under the truck here and at a bare minimum, I'm going to try and find the power source to that, uh, to that. Um, compressor and uh, I'm gonna switch it off because if it's if until I find that hole until I find that hole in the line which is what I assume why it's leaking there's no sense in that thing running it's just gonna burn itself out so I'll catch up with you guys under the truck so here's the compressor here's the lines that run all the way back now I checked all these back here one of them is suspect I'm gonna unwrap it it's got some tape around it but Everything I see other than that one spot looks pretty good all the way up into the cab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the truck on. I'm going to get a bottle of soapy water and I'm going to spray down all the lines and see if I see any bubbles. If I don't, I think I'm going to have to pull the dash off and take a look at the, the gauges and the valves behind it. Okay, sprayed every connection from the back to the front. No leaks that I can see. There's obviously, it's obviously a switch here. This would typically turn on the compressor, but it seems to be running full, like non-stop, and they're not building pressure. I believe each of these are plumbed individually, um, so they're independent of each other. So the fact that both of them aren't working would lead me to believe that it's at a junction point, but the only junction point for these two is right at the compressor. So I'm gonna look back here. If I'm expecting to find a leak behind this one, and then I'm also expecting to find that my compressor's totally cooked and it's just running and not actually producing any air. So before I even dive into this, I'm gonna disconnect one of the ends of the compressor fittings and check that it's actually pushing air when it's on. Also, while I was down here, I noticed that this exhaust gasket is I mean it looks like it was recently serviced or something there's some fresh hardware on it but this gasket's toasty I can feel the exhaust coming out I can smell it so I'm gonna order that up too here's the compressor like I said here's the junction point between these two this is the only part where these two lines ever come together and it looks like it's in good shape so I'm gonna undo these threaded lines here and I'm going to turn the truck on and see if we're pushing any air out of, in, out of these lines. If not, that's our culprit. Okay, those are disconnected. Let's turn the truck on, see what happens. Air coming out of both, that's good news. Okay, 
so next step in this diagnosis I'm going to disconnect the white lines coming out of the top here. These go up to the gauges and are essentially purge valves, uh, purge lines. So if I disconnect those, if the bags in the back pump up without the regulation and the purge valves, that tells me that the problem is towards the front of the truck, probably at under the dash. If they don't pump up and that's plugged, that would tell me the problem is to the back. So. I'm gonna undo these and then see if the air still comes out. And if, if it does, I think I have some more of this tube inside that I can put a cap in and then just plug those up. So, see what I can do. Boys, I have some fantastic news here. So I went to pull that top one out and look at this. I don't know if you can see that. Right, right there. It's a little pinhole. Perfect, I mean, I'm gonna snip this back here. I'm gonna plug it back in and just just give her a go because that that could be our problem right there Okay, all reconnected. Let's turn it on see what happens <laughs> Well guys, I'm not sure if you can hear but the The compressor is barely running right now. It's just because it's 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 waiting for Okay, so here's here's a, there's something interesting. This is kind of how I got the truck, right? The left, the pat, driver's side seems to be pumping up and holding air, but the passenger side goes up to about five pounds, maybe ten pounds, and then it slowly drops. You see it dropping? There is still a leak on that passenger side. Now let's see. Will the will the compressor kick on here? The compressor is not kicking on. Oh, you know what? Actually, the driver's side's leaking too. It's slower. It's much slower. So there's definitely a leak in the system. There's definitely a leak in the system. Where is it coming from? I'll put money. It's coming from behind the dash here. I'm going to have to get in there and check that out. But hey, man, the compressor's off. Oh, just as I say that. So right now, it's just trying to keep up with the minimum setting here. Definitely gonna have to figure out what's going on. I think there's a leak back here. Okay, guys, going rogue on you right now with the uh, with the cell phone. But I have the dash pulled apart. I took a look at the back there. No leaks there. But here's what I found. I turned on the truck. I pumped up the air. I turned the truck off. And when I get under that T junction, there is leaking. So I'm just gonna stop by the parts store. I'm gonna pick up two push lock T valves and I'm gonna replace those. And I think we have our problem resolved. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Lots of work to be done on the truck, but I, I don't mind, you know, it's an older truck and I love working on these cars and bringing you guys content. Um, I'm not sure what you guys are doing this weekend, uh, but if you are in the Southern Ontario area, you need to be at Grand Bend. Uh, this is Windsor weekend. Chuck Fram and his team put this on every year for as long as I can remember. And if you're from Windsor, it's a particularly big big deal. And Chuck has been kind enough to grant us some media passes so we can get in and show you guys some really great footage. So if you are available this weekend in Southern Ontario, I beg you to come down to Grand Bend Motorplex in Grand Bend and see Windsor weekend, see some cars race. We're going to be out there. We want to see you guys out there. Do pick up a shirt, pick up a sticker, some toolbox magnets for you guys. Um, you know, and uh, we're going to be taking Judy up there so you can meet her in person too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, hit the notification button so you get an email or a notification every time we upload so you don't miss anything. And until next time, guys, find out how fast we can make these cars go.